Hello everybody, this is episode 106 of the Chesterfield of Dreams where we will decide if we are going to win the Europa League semi-final second leg or not. Manchester City of course hold the 2-1 advantage. The away goal must be uh, price or must be uh, valued because it gives us a slim hope of beating the citizens in this second leg and uh, to do that we're going to have to put in arguably the performance of the season um, I know Manchester City are struggling in the league but you can't discount them from the uh, title run in just yet but as for Chesterfield the plucky Spyrites were back in the top four Watford were uh, unable to extend their lead over us they had uh, dropped points and uh, that just means we need to win our last two games to guarantee uh, that Europa League um, or sorry Champions League uh, playoff spot belongs to us but uh, Manchester United at Old Trafford will be near impossible for Watford to get something out of so we just need to win one more game and we should be okay so you can see uh, Watford dropped uh, points in the last two games and they were beaten in the FA Cup semi-final which you can understand that would be a heartbreaker and uh, their uh, opponents Chelsea will actually end up playing Arsenal so that should be uh, most peculiar but enjoyable for the London fans um, our result against Fulham here two goals to one not really uh, too exciting but Tomas Forza was the big hero in this one scoring once in each half um, but Brit Asambalonga made sure that Fulham were not to be discounted so soon but I'm just relieved that we got out of that with three points so that means we can focus purely on the Manchester City game and then we've Middlesbrough at home for the television that could confine them to relegation if we beat them but uh, other results could go in their favour at the same time and then we have the final day against Leicester City which will be uh, pretty meaningless uh, unless we have failed to qualify for the Champions League group stage or playoffs already so uh, the team I've decided to name are as follows uh, Baz Raha Buan in goal David Shanahan, Frank Reeves, Jamal Hoogland and Magnus Carlsen in defence Stephenson and Pino will be my centre midfielders and I'm taking the gamble of putting Callum Cook in uh, attacking midfield central um, if that pays off that will be fantastic but if uh, I have to I might bring Stephenson backwards into defensive midfield bring Pino or keep him where he needs to be and then bring Callum Cook into that other ball winning midfielder uh, spot We've got Tom Bertram and Godwin Azuka on the wings and then Tomas Forza has kept his spot up front but we have two strikers on the bench if needs be. A lot of players are unregistered for the tournament um, if you remember so we can't have them at all. And then the only real injury concern is Yara Mesa. He has stubbed his toe and that will keep him out for a few more days but you can see he really does need a rest. He has not been in good form in the second half of the season and after such a bright start even though he's been the Mr. Consistent over the years, I think he has earned a little rest. And I don't know if I'll play him again this season, but it would be a real shame if he doesn't hit 20 Premier League goals for the first time in his career. He's come so close so often, but he's just been uh, shy of 20 goals. So now let's check out what Manchester City have in opposition. And uh, also keep an eye out for the Cologne and Celtic game. Uh, that's a 2 all draw heading into this one so it's advantage to Cologne um, they've had the top score in the tournament uh, alongside Carlos so two Carlos's um, each getting 11 goals so far we could even have some more if, if uh, they're feeling up for it but here's what Manchester City have uh, lined up for me um, they've got Kitten off and goal uh, um, they've got John Stones at right back and then Manolov, Manoj Lovic, uh, Cheka Buchava, Monzon, Sahrari, Alves, Pushneri, Depay or Memphis as he prefers to be called, Navarra and Carlos up top. That's a fantastic team as you'd expect from Manchester City. But if uh, they lose the league title then they've only themselves to blame. But I feel confident uh, this team can go out there and win for me we're gonna probably stay a little structured to begin and then we can go out and attack later into the match we'll turn that down and we'll probably turn that down and that down as well so we'll go uh, into space and work the ball into the box see how that does um, like I'd rather bring Manchester City um, a little bit of uh, pressure as it's no use having them all dominant again 
So this is my best chance of winning a continental tournament before the series will eventually conclude and that will be sometime in the future. Um, certainly in the next few months I will plan a happy ending for it and it's time to get revenge and uh, book our place in the Europa League final. It's a, certainly uh, two underdogs will be heading into that final but the winner of this one uh, will certainly believe they are the favourites. So let's go let's go out there and deliver one of the biggest wins in the club's history. So we'll run out the defence as well, see how that goes. And now let's begin. Um, whoops. Um, how did that happen? Okay, never mind. Here we go, kick off. And it is Chesterfield who have the uh, right to begin. Uh, Shanahan already giving it away to Man City who just need to keep this uh, game at a draw and they will qualify but they don't want to settle for the draw Carlos goes for an early header and Rahabwan is able to reach that one no problem um, yellow card for Frank Reeves not a good start in that regard um, and Magnus Carlsen as well um, our passing has been extremely poor and already that looks to be game set and match Guilherme Alves from the set piece has made it 1-0 already so we have to score twice instead of once if we're going to stand any chance it was terrible marking he was allowed too much space and it looks like my uh, gamble strategy has gone terribly wrong Man City are just far too good at the moment here is Navarra to Guilherme Alves Memphis Carlos turns his back to goal but it seems to have worked out for him Pushneri blocked and Magnus Carlsen runs we need the equaliser we need it soon guys how are you going to respond to that? So we're going to try control for a little bit. Um, maybe lower the tempo. Uh, it's there. And we're going to stay on feet. Turn that down. Um, no, no real threat there. Um, the highlight was blurred. But we're going to uh, demand some more from the guys. Here's a corner from Tom Bertram and Jamal Hugand. Oh, should have done better with that chance. And now look at Carlos. He just has a defender to beat, but David Shanahan was able for the challenge. And uh, Tomas Forza has a knock. I don't know how severe that may be, but he may have to come off as soon as possible. We can't have him out for too long. Come on, passion. Uh, it's not looking too good. Come on, two shots in 44 minutes is not good enough. Make it three for me. Bertram Pino. Forza! What a time to score! Oh, thank goodness he's able for some more action. Uh, Tomas Forza never gives up and uh, he will have to come off eventually. But there we go. We can go back to standard for a little bit and uh, we have some uh, something to go for now. It would have been good enough if we kept the clean sheet in the first half. But my uh, opening strategy call uh, backfired and now we're going to try and alter that. Uh, we might bring Stefferson backwards. He just doesn't look to be playing well. Uh, Pino can stay where he is. Um, we'll just tell him defensive midfielder instead. That might make him happier. Um, and Ronnie Pino might have to be the roaming playmaker. So just a slight change. But it could be a change that delivers some Europa League glory for us. You never know. We don't know the score in the other game. I will amend that in just a minute. But... Let's just get the second half underway. I'm keen to see a winner. And it can only come if we score two more goals. But one goal will be enough for extra time and possibly penalties. Um, early indications show that Manchester City are playing well on the ball. And they have a, an opportunity from the throw in. Push Neri, far post. That ain't going to work. Forza can't really... Uh, get out of second gear as he's just trundling around and down down goes the goalkeeper to make a nice save push forward now let's see if we can get this goal Adzuka tackled Pino to Cook Tom Bertram uh, I don't know what he was thinking there miles over the top and uh, now is the right time to make a substitution and obviously Tomas Forza for his own good will need to come off Philip Meyer he has scored a few goals this campaign and uh, we might just make him a simple enough poacher see if that can uh, get a goal um, mm, I might go 4-4-2 why not I think Stephenson just doesn't look to be up for today's game we'll put Meyer 
as the poacher and Davies as the deep lying forward. There we go. That that works out for me, in my opinion. And Calm Cook can now go backwards. He can uh, be the ball winning midfielder, go into defence. And Azuka and Bertram shall go backwards. But we'll see if we need to make another attacking substitution in the uh, final 15 minutes or so. Um, I have a few options left, but I'm going to try and get these goals uh, now while we uh, can get Manchester City under pressure. So we are doing much, much better now. It's time for a bit of control. Frank Reeves takes his free kick. Bertram beats a defender. Couldn't find Meyer. He's got the ball back. And Davies uh, don't really have too much confidence in his heading ability. You can see 14 isn't bad, but it has to be better. Memphis free kick cleared by Meyer. And that's a useless highlight. Come on. Let's go. Demand a little bit more. They've made uh, Sedlet check their substitution. And I know how dangerous he can be. Um, so we'll mark him up now. Yeah, he's a uh, danger. Especially in tip-top condition. But it doesn't look like they've made any other changes. So I will go for my third and final. And uh, what can I do here? Uh, Callum Cook hasn't played well um, I think we've got 4-1-2-1-2 Stephen Kinsella scored one of the best goals in the series history by playing in attacking midfield Ronnie Pino can go backwards and play defensive midfield support see how that goes a massive massive opportunity for Stephen Kinsella um, but we have the wings uh, available to us if needs be so let's try and win this game go into extra time will be more direct pass in the space pump into the ball pump the ball into the box and let's set let check or something to say no it's wide um they brought on chambers i don't know who he is too well um mons on to memphis good tackle by shanahan the desire needs to be 110 percent davies won't get that pino will bertram he's had a good game he needs help. Reeves, Shanahan, Bertram, into Mark Davies. Goes very wide. Pino, Azuka. Uh, what a save by Kitanoff. It was a stretch, but he made it count. And now this is the Chesterfield we love to watch. Carlson low into the box. Wins it for the second time. And now the third time, Ronnie Pino. Oh, uh, no heroics that time. Uh, get creative, that's all I ask. Uh expressive run from positions it may just be a little too late we have been great come on it's cleared Pino no and now the counter attack is available for Pushneri and he goes right to Alves it could be fatal for Manchester City if they don't score here Pino route one Meyer has pushed his opponent and we have three minutes to save this tie oh good tackle by Pushneri Interception, Ronnie Pino, bang on 90 minutes now, that's a, that's a mediocre pass. Pino, oh, he's sent off. That's game over. Even if we get the equaliser, I wouldn't have too much faith that we can rescue the game from this 10-man uh, position. We've no one who can fill in as another midfielder. Oh, this was a... A heartbreaking moment for sure. Um, yeah, we just have to leave it, bring Kinsella backwards, and uh, just have him uh, box the box. I don't know what else is available to me. That's a shame. Like I couldn't keep all the yellow card players away from danger, but Shanahan whips one in. No can do with that one, Carlson. Kinsella, no, that could be game. Oh, well done, Carlson. Oh, not so well done, though. Can you get this one? Yes. Rahabwan, last chance. It's Tom Bertram. Oh, he's been hurt. That may just give us a little bit extra time, but with all these injured and red-carded players, it could be game. Chambers, will he be put under sufficient pressure? Yes, he will. Kinsella to Hoogland. Meyer has an opportunity. Azuka. Oh, it's offside anyway. And that could be the extra 30 seconds wasted. Yeah, he's not under any illusions. He just needs to kick the ball. There's still time. Hoogland, hurry up. 
No time for wasting. Kinsella short to Davies. Davies on a powerful run. Bertram still. Oh no. That's that's the game. Manchester City have flooded the pitch in ecstasy and I have to say on balance they deserve it. Uh, we weren't defensively smart enough. I uh, know I have to criticise the players but um, perhaps as a uh, as a reporter I'd have to say Manchester City were good enough uh, and uh, that's a heartbreaking way to go out perhaps I should have been positive from the start um, and we should have been better at the set piece but that's the way the way things go sometimes and uh, Manchester City in all probability will be celebrating a European trophy uh, for another occasion I think competitions they won the Europa League. Oh no, they lost it in 2017. Um, if we can check that one out. Um, who would that have been against? 2017. Um, they lost to Liverpool. So they know exactly how it feels to be knocked out against English opposition. But either way, Manchester City uh, will win some sort of trophy if they play their best. And it appears Cologne won in, in uh, away goals. Yeah, so two uh, dramatic goals in the last 10 minutes didn't make too much of a difference, but Cologne have gone through and they will try and win a European Cup for themselves. They haven't won anything uh, in Europe before, but they were runners-up in 1986 in the UEFA Cup, as it was then known. So uh, we get 1 million euros as compensation, I suppose. Or, but Pino getting sent off didn't really help. Um, but there you go, we'll just try and secure Champions League football and maybe that'll be our very last season in charge of the spy rights for YouTube. But anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, let me know down below and uh, let me see if we can rescue this situation and, you know, just move on. It's a tough one to take for sure, but I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.